go on a road trip through Mavrova National Park in North Macedonia because why not? Have you checked my North Macedonia video yet? If not, this is the link. Please do check it because it has tons of information that's very helpful before you plan your visit. So click up now. So, I just started the day. I am having my massive breads in the Carl Bakery in Skopje and soon we'll start going towards getting the car and then heading on the way. So, I'm already really excited because I've heard the park is really beautiful and there's another stop we're gonna make on the way. So, I'm gonna crack on with this and then let's go. Triumphal Arch and Macedonia Square and this is where we're gonna pick up the car and then head to Movrovo. It started the usual way. I started planning for the trip to North Macedonia and I decided to go to Ohrid since I missed it on the Albanian side. If you know me, I hate doing the simple A to B trips, especially in Balkans, which is my favorite part of the world. So I decided to turn it into a day trip and we will see something very interesting, a very special place. And then we will go to a national park. At the end of the day, we will end up in Ohrid. So I'm waiting for the car now. As soon as it comes, we're on the way. Let's go. Skopje to Tetovo, it roughly takes about an hour. Depending on the traffic, it wasn't too bad on the day and we headed off fairly quickly. And the road is actually quite beautiful already. But there's a very special reason for heading to Tetovo. reason for heading to Tetovo is to see the colored mosque or Pasha's mosque, whatever you want to call it. The mosque definitely deserves a visit and it is a must stop place on the way to Mavrovo. If you want to find out more information, check out my video about the mosque. You will find plenty of interesting facts and a more detailed tour of this gorgeous place. From Tatovo, it actually doesn't take very long before you enter the Mavrovo National Park. Some really interesting facts about the park. It's actually the largest national park in North Macedonia and it is home to some really rare species. These include bears, hawks, eagles and a lot of other different animals. But the most interesting one that I found out was the European lynx. The park is equally gorgeous no matter what season it is. In the winter it is a great spot for skiing, in summer it is really picturesque and lush green. And the park is actually divided into three areas so you can only visit the tourist areas. The other ones are off limits and are strictly protected. I would 
Also highly recommend that you stop somewhere to enjoy the beautiful water of River Drin. It's this lazy stream that goes right by the road and I made the mistake of not doing that. It turns into a big dam later, so do it here. park now and look this place is gorgeous I mean the drive here was really nice and it was so beautiful and this place is just picture car perfect I mean honestly I can't believe how gorgeous this place is and while it's bone dry on that side look at that it is a bit windy but we're gonna go get some lunch now and then explore a little bit more before we head to Orin. Look at that. Wow. Did I mention I love North Macedonia? I do. ride for the day um she's pretty smooth and very very sweet thanks for the free upgrade the car rental company i have to show you something else that's quite fun look they're using the skis as the fence how cute is that anyway so i am stopping at mavrovsky mirak which is a restaurant with a great view can i get some food it is quite chilly here and they have blankets so i'm quite happy about that let's go get some food and then we can go drive around a bit more explore and then start heading towards ohrid uh because i want to get there before the sunset so i'll make a couple more stops i think at the bar and also the drive along the black drain river is also quite nice so let's see how that works let's go get some food first i'm so hungry now The restaurant is located at the shores of the lake which wasn't very full at the moment but it was a great chance to see the city, the small village actually and it was also a great chance to explore some of the hearty food um, and it was actually quite local despite being a restaurant and the food was really yummy. church of Movrovo and when the water level is high you can see it submerged underwater I mean you can see the water in the church as well but the water level is really low right now This is the church of St. Nicola, which is a fairly recent addition to Mavrovo and it is a pretty good example of how seriously the North Macedonians take religion here. So not bothered. Hello. Oh, look, someone is up. Oh. And not really up then. It was getting quite late, so we headed off to our next destination. But if you have more time, I would definitely recommend you take the cable car all the way up and get a view of the park as well as the lake. By the way, there are multiple lakes in this national park, not just this one. So we drove through the beautiful, beautiful Mavrovo National Park with a little stream of Black Drin River and eventually got to this monastery. Now I wasn't aware of this until I started looking at the map on the way and it looks really beautiful but sadly 
It's completely under construction now. But it's not all lost because we still have a beautiful view to check. So let's go do that. What we did end up seeing is this fresco, which is really beautiful outside this little church in the monastery complex. But sadly, what it's famous for is it's incredibly detailed, carved, wooden iconostasis. And that part was closed, so we couldn't see it. Our next stop is going to be Dibar, which is only a 30 minutes drive through the beautiful Mavrova National Park. And I want to thank Phil and his beautiful wife for taking me on this day trip with them. heading towards the bar and on the way we are stopping at this gorgeous spot I mean look at the view from here you can see the entire valley oh I'm, I'm honestly loving this drive in case you're wondering how to do this I'm gonna tell you now so you start in the morning from Skopje and you head towards Tetovo where you will be able to see the colorful mosque and then from there you start heading towards Mavrovo National Park we had lunch there, you can do the same, just you know, walk around, just chill a bit there and then start heading from Movrovo towards the bar. Not the same road back, but towards the bar. And from there, you will be able to end up in Ohrid, like we will. So let's go explore a bit more. This place is just stunning, honestly, I love it. It's, and it's such a beautiful, beautiful day as well. Let's go further. For some reason, I really liked the last bit of drive from the bar to Ohrid, which took about an hour. And throughout the time that we were going through the national park, maybe it was the light, but it really was serene and beautiful and so peaceful. It was like being in a trance. Roughly an hour and a half, we almost arrived at Ohrid and the first thing you see is the Samuel's Fort which is located on top of the mountain. I already knew that I was gonna love Ohrid. What an incredible day, honestly. I just, I was blown away by how beautiful North Macedonia is. And just driving through the national park was just so relaxing and calming. There's one thing I missed, and that is to stop somewhere where, in the beginning of the national park, where Black Drain River starts. It flows like a beautiful stream right next to the road. And I, should have just stopped for a few minutes there but I thought it would continue on all the way till Ohrid it didn't so yeah that's one thing I missed don't miss that if you are doing the same trip I would also recommend checking the videos for Ohrid and Skopje to see what you can do in these beautiful cities and if you like the video please do like subscribe share comment let me know what you think let me know what you want to see if you need more information let me know i will put most of it in the description below including this beautiful place that i'm staying at in ohrin so until next time you have a lovely beautiful day and i will see you soon bye